Self-Help Graphics, an artist celebrating its 40th anniversary of Dia de los Muertos this year with a full season of activities, art making, and art in, Latino art and culture. It's a celebration of our dead. It's a way of remembering people we love. It's also a celebration of life. Celebration begins in October. We really celebrate a season of activities. Beginning in October, we have community art workshops every Saturday of the month that invite our community to create arts and crafts related to Dia de los Muertos. Then it uh, continues on to celebrate Noche de Ofrenda, which is a much more meditative event that focuses on the art of altar making. We remember our antepasados that evening. And then we continue on to an exhibition of artwork related to Dia de los Muertos. All of this culminates on November 2nd. It is a season of activities leading up to the holiday and the celebration. Dia de los Muertos brings together so many different uh, values in our community, from cultural pride to spiritual practices to creativity, to performance, and all of those things seem to synchronize themselves really well in this holiday celebration that Self-Help Graphics and Art has. This was the place that gave not only person, people like me, but the community to have a, an event that brings them together as a community, and then as a, in an event uh, like Dia de los Muertos, which is, has even more spiritual meaning and brings families together, I think it's so important. And I'm really, I feel blessed that I've had this long stay with self help graphics. It means perseverance, I think. It means really that the, the organization, like our culture, is alive and well and growing. And uh, self help graphics gets an opportunity to really be a player in that legacy uh, and pride of our culture through the arts. What I always say is that uh, bigger venues or more mainstream celebrations of Dia de los Muertos is sort of going to a fine Mexican restaurant where you experience you know, many different flavors in a nice environment. But coming to Self-Help Graphics after 40 years is like having dinner at your Abuelita's kitchen. It may be crowded, it may be noisy and loud, but nothing quite tastes like your abuela's cooking. And that's the feeling, the sabor that you get here at Self Help Graphics during Day of the Dead. It is community based, it is artist led, and it is full of sabor. They allow people to participate in very different uh, things from paper flower making to the uh, calaca making to the altar making to the papel picado. And with the idea that through the participation, they're thinking about their family, they're thinking about their loved ones who died. So when the uh, event does come by, that they've already prepared, they're already very intentional, and that this uh, holiday is truly something valuable for them and their family.